Sam Alexander Nova. You get a brief overview of how he is in this. If you want to pause it, you can. His father was a member of the Nova Corps and used to tell him unbelievable stories and the adventures he used to go on. Kind of like the police force for intergalaxy stuff. However, his father ended up disappearing. Sam found his old helmet, took up the mantle, and became the interstellar hero as Nova. The Nova Corps has their own black opportunities. Yes, literally on some military type stuff just for space. One time Sam was skateboarding. He fell, hit his head. He woke up in a hospital bed with Rocket and Gamora right next to him. Since he's just a kid and it's technically his first time being like a superhero, one can say putting on this helmet automatically suits him up. That's when his dad said, Rocket and Gamora, trust them. The power is yours now. This helmet kind of reminds me of the Dr. Fate jump. As soon as you put it on, you suit up and become powerful as heck, but he still retains his personality. That's one thing different about the Dr. Fate thing, I guess. He can fly at incredible speed. I mean, you can't be a space being and be slow because as big as space is, you have to be a certain level of speed to even be able to traverse space to a certain degree, literally flying to the moon, even encountering the Watcher. I mean, he does a lot of different adventures, interacting with Avengers and stuff of that such. By the way, you can't just steal the Nova helmet and be like, oh man, I'm about to have superpowers. Nah, it's a certain DNA signature. So yeah, he's basically chosen to be able to have this power or wield it so it's his power even though it's standard year the helmet can breathe in space and underwater hanging out with hulk type characters thanks to space being vast you need a feature of being able to translate any language so you can talk to any species on some hud stuff being able to id folks just based on their facial signature standard military police software type ish stuff along with being fast himself thanks to police type stuff he can tell how fast certain things are going and even zoom in he even got life lessons or training from experienced fighters like gamora he even stated we are going to train you and training you they did he's not experienced at fighting but he does have a certain level of power but that kind of shows the people that's training him is pretty strong like gamora being able to harm him pretty decently she even gets the advantage of him here with the sword this suit and nova helmet does give him super strength to be able to lift this train cart for example i do believe this is an oversimplification or a low ball he said he can bench about 30 tons lifting power wise he might not be that impressive but he does slow down this large meteor for example hanging out with thor to your well we know at least he can lift 60,000 pounds right lift this huge boulder made of gold because he's strong can lift this large metal pillar just like other novas novas are ridiculously fast whatever strength physically they lack they can make up for with velocity build up like imagine him using his speed to fly into you with crazy force because he can fly into you during combat for example he uses his speed in combat to slam into the ship to create force like that and that he uses his speed to burst into chatari mothership like booyah he uses his speed to fly through multiple ships with his velocity helping his striking power i mean he likes to blitz like blitzing his foe into an asteroid continuing to slam you not to mention if there's implication he has fighting speed notice the blur effect around his hands like Drrr. i mean he did destroy a stone statue of the avengers this one time yikes yeah it's proof that he can hit with this speed that he flies with flies into some would say a big hill or a mountain-sized structure looks like a big hill and she just destroys it with ease my guess is that it's a small mountain because look at the size of all this stuff underneath yeah you see the size comparison nova characters they're the type of characters that they're way stronger than what they look even big old creatures like this his strikes can harm things this big whether it's blast power or just straight striking using his flight speed in combat to add more velocity or add more power I haven't even got on his blast power in this video yet the fact they're even in comics with characters like ego and ego's literally a living planet i mean he he did slam an asteroid into ego or a meteor into him supposedly ego has a headache now the same ego that galactus refers to as his power to be incalculable there's even been points in their career i don't think galactus was full powered here that they stated neither galactus or thor has enough power to destroy the living planet ego can even destroy other living planet yet nova is tangling sam alexander is tangling with characters like ego producing this much impact to him he's a big fan of using his flight speed in fight like literally blitzing flying people through wall even it's warbringer even warbringer he briefly does damage to beings like carol because of his flight speed boom 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 captain marvel carol is the same being nova clashed into she also millions of times past earth shattering levels of energy production takes out this powerful being known as titanius you know what i'm saying slam bro got them afterburner thrusters using his speed to push this meteor with incredible speed look at the craters he makes when he blitzes you into the ground throws that big old stab mylan's once beings from the dark dimension get punched through the ceiling off panel he's destroyed dozens of asteroids that would have killed millions of people he shatters this one asteroid the size of an empire state building passing jupiter he shatters it into two large pieces then those pieces that were heading to earth he had to take care of those before they hit earth being heroic as heck 
but at the end of the day gets the job done. Pulverize it. Look at the area of effect he can produce with his punching power. Booyah. Large Sentinels, just because you're bigger than me, I'm going to hit you over. Now, when it comes to actual battle feats with the big dogs, like Clue Hulk, a Hulk tier, at least Savage Hulk tier being, this fight didn't necessarily go too well for the most part. It's really hard to interpret this, though. You know, he, he just made his face go sideways, I guess. And do you guys honestly think gunfire is going to work against Nova? What kind of powerhouse tier would he be? There's strong implications that he can survive close proximity with the sun. Miss Marvel, it's even implied that Nova's too powerful for these type of characters. He should be ish tier. I mean, he has gotten in tussles with Cancerverse Richard Ryder, for Pete's sake, so that makes sense. He's gotten in a little st scuffles with Beta Ray Bill, got hit by Beta, having like a little beam struggle, scuffle with Beta Ray Bill, but he did get lesser end of the stick for most part. Notice how he can't get up. More proof that he can use his flight speed in combat. Look at these sharp turns. He doesn't necessarily have to decelerate to turn sharp corners. He's able to perceive the buildings to not hit every building moving at these speed. For those that still doubt his fighting speed, it's literally a part of his lore. Imply to have massively faster than light speed. He can use this speed in combat like I've shown you a lot of times in this video. The helmet he wears feeds info right into his brain and it forces him to multitask. Thanks to it, my mind simultaneously slows down so I can react, dodge asteroids and suns, and speeds up so the seconds between don't drag like years. One brain divided by two rates of veil. I mean, when you are a Nova Core type character, technically just planet busting levels by default, but look, when you're able to use your raw speed in combat as much as Nova does, whatever physical strength he does lack, which he still has a lot of that too, he kind of makes up for it in raw speed. I mean, think about it. He's flying so fast he can galaxy hop. Imagine this guy ramming into you, that little dot right there ramming into you with this type of velocity he has built up in combat. Combat. Not to mention his reaction and flight speed are relative to one another. It literally states how he's able to react to things. And he goes in like slow motion speed mode because his reaction times can keep up with his travel speed thanks to his helmet he wears. When it comes to this interstellar travel, they are implying he can fly light years or one could say parsecs in a very short amount of time. They don't get too specific, but they do mention he's been flying for weeks. They didn't get specific on how many parsecs he flew, but one parsec is equal to three light years, five minutes, five weeks. He can galaxy hop in at least five weeks which is insanely fast speed he can at least travel trillions of times the speed of light a lot more possibly as well this is just a bare bones minimum this is no shock because he can simply easily fly into orbit in literally no time obviously he can fly faster than the speed of sound blast power wise he can collapse buildings does his like own kamehameha wave to crater the ground if he has to blows up an asteroid blasts this crater in the ground this large robot hand gets blasted after him doing an omnidirectional attack messing up the majority of the robot in the process look at the size difference between them two blasting this far large distance you gotta get the pattern by now his blast power does that to the ground look at that crater he did this strategy because his hammer was laying on him he needed to destroy the ground beneath him so he can get from under it i'm back to this clue hole there's implication that his blast stings him at least despite him being a kid he seems to have precision when it comes to his ability like shooting these cans precisely showing his aim even precisely blast large energy blast he said i'm bored i'm just going to carve a statue out of the watcher from this meteor because i can this artistry this art stuff he did cancel out this radiation energy blast with his own energy blast by pumping out a surge of opposing radiation blast power stuff aside he can use this energy projection to make his own force fields like even shielding other things like plugging in this hole in this ship that was opened up he literally just simply deflects the missile back at the opponent with his shield can literally just trap you in an energy shield and you can't get out and they're literally having a conversation they're, hey let me out let me out i'm just they just talking blocking blast on this occasion yet again shield implied to have telekinesis how he was able to push a hulk backward another occasion of telekinesis on how he literally disarmed rocket and took his gun can make holograms of himself if he has to he even pushed poison out of cosmos this being known as war bringing that nova be fighting has defeated iron man before even no matter if it's hulk buster related armor the same being competed with thor it's powerful enough to bat thor and nova around yet even sam alexander young nova can fight this guy one-on-one. -on -one. He even stated fighting the Hulk didn't even hurt this bad. He could be exaggerating, but it let you know the competence of the same being. Battling it out, these two. Many slugfests with Bill, but of course they ended up shaking hands. Not to mention he's gotten a little tussle with Annalis of along with other heroes, another powerhouse tier being. This same being was fighting other powerhouses at the same time and stuff. He's one of those characters where he hasn't necessarily destroyed a planet on screen, but that doesn't mean he can't do it. There's a lot of characters that haven't done it, but they're on par with the powerhouses that can. I definitely believe he could blast apart stars with his blast power if he felt like it, based on the people in his universe. The fact he's a Nova type character as well, blasting away stars in Marvel isn't really that big of a deal, considering he's a powerhouse to some degree. Even if he's not necessarily equal, that doesn't necessarily make him city level, just because he's not on par with beings that are past star level. That means he just maybe slightly below it, maybe like 80%. 
50% of a Hulk tier or 60% of a Thor tier. He doesn't necessarily have to be completely equivalent. He could be 60% of him and still be a powerhouse tier because that's how strong these guys are. Thor and them can lift up the heavens and stuff. So his blast power is leagues above planet shattering level, whether it be blast power, just punching power with his velocity because we know he likes to use his flight speed in combat. Imagine him punching you at interstellar distance levels of speed. That would be a way past planet shattering force if he was to hit you with that much velocity. But that's none of my business. You just got to ask yourself this. See how small he is? See how the planet is? This is obviously not a realistic representation of the size differences, obviously. Let's imagine for a second all of this. The weight of it stayed the same, but the, all the durability of the planet the same as if it was it was large, but it's just this size like this. Could Sam Alexander Nova damage it? Yes, he could. He has the raw power to damage something that has the durability of a planet all compressed into one little small sphere if he had to. But what do you guys think? Did you guys know he was this strong? You probably did. He's a Nova type character there in the powerhouse ranges or near it. He might be slightly weaker than Richard Ryder Nova, who's a full on adult. So it makes sense for him to be weaker than him. But just because he's a Thor tier and he's slightly below it, that doesn't automatically mean he can't harm these beings. Richard Ryder for sure is a Thor Silver Surfer equal, right? He's not necessarily equal, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's building level at best either. You know what I'm saying? He's just slightly below this. You know what I'm saying? But post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. And thank you all that have donated to the channel. Appreciate it a lot. <laughs>